Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Wednesday. I'm your host, Janine Yoder, and this is Coaching Business Q&A Week, where a life coach comes to ask a really pressing question about their life or coaching business. And this week, we are featuring the beautiful Kristen Zakers. She is a life coach and Feng Shui consultant on a mission to help her clients design inspired lives and inspired homes. I love this combination and I love Kristen. I'm so excited for you guys to meet her and to hear what questions she brings today. So let me switch it over to you, Kristen. Hi and welcome. Hi. Hello. Thank you for taking my question today. You're so welcome. Thank you for bringing it in to us. Awesome. Well, here it is. My coaching business is rocking and rolling along. And as I continue to grow, how do I know when it's time to bite the bullet and hire some support? Mm. I'm, I'm curious, what is a normal team for a coach and who do I hire first? This is a really big question and I uh, really resonates with me deeply. I remember when I came to this question and how it feels when you're at that point where mm you're really starting to consider it. There's so many things that come up. So um, thank you, Kristen. I, um, I want to start with just honoring for all of us that being an entrepreneur is tough. It's really exciting when we start our business. And at the same time, I think it's more than we ever expect it to be when we actually go into the ins and outs of really taking on our own business. And we're doing everything. We're wearing, you know, so many hats in our lives and our business. We are having to learn social media in ways that we never have. We're having to respond to way more email systems. We're branding and masterminding and strategizing. And we're doing all of this completely by ourselves, often in the beginning. And I really feel like that has to be one of the toughest jobs because as women, it doesn't even stop there. We're also wearing the role of mother, wife, daughter, you know, all the other things. Sometimes we're working two jobs. We're having, uh, you know, our nine to five bef while we're starting our entrepreneur business. So there's a lot of questions that come up around this time. Um, you know, when is it time to call it quits on doing this one woman show thing all by myself? Who should I hire first? What's a normal team for a coach? I don't even know what I can expect where people can actually help me. Um, you know, when is it actually the right time? Am I making enough money? We feel guilty about not, not making tons of money in our business and then putting that out into hiring people. It almost seems like selfish or like we're needy or something at that point. Um, and when is it really time to step up and say, okay, it's time for me to get a team so that bigger stuff can happen. Um, do you feel like you're wearing lots of hats too, Kristen? How many hats are you wearing in your business and in your life right now? Countless. <laughs> and I'm really focused on making the best use of my time. So I'd like to hire out the areas that aren't necessarily my strengths. And so I can focus my energy on the things that I really love and the ways that I can best serve my clients. Ah, absolutely. Because not only are we entrepreneurs and partners and mothers and daughters and friends and CEO, we're also life coaches. So our job is actually to hold space for our clients mm -hmm. and to do that. I mean, all of those roles, especially being a coach, require us to be present and supportive and really giving. So. To answer the first question, when is the right time? When do I know that I'm ready for a team? You know that you're ready for a team when overwhelm starts creeping in and causing stress that can really put you on the fast track to burnout. Because what happens is when you burn out, oftentimes people quit their business or they come to a, a halt and you start to feel stuck. You start to feel like you're not capable and you start to uh, just really get burnt out. And you're going to reach a moment in your business where, there, where you're either going to give up or you're going to stay stuck in overwhelm and you're not going to grow or expand past, past that point where you are, where you're always just going to feel like there's a long list of should do's and um, things that call for your attention and you're spread thin everywhere. Um, or you can hire a team, which is really going to take you to that next level of success. Now, the reality check here 
is that you can't do it alone. You can't expand and grow your business without a team. And the other side of that is oftentimes the moment that we hit that overwhelm or burnout, we don't financially feel completely ready to hire a team yet. We don't have an abundance of funds. So we keep feeling like, I'll just keep trucking along. I'll just keep trying to make it. And, and, set, and the money will come later. I'll be able to hire a team. But the truth is the turning point in, re in reaching that next level of success in your business is hiring the team before you actually feel completely financially ready to do it. And you'll know that you've reached this point when you realize that you don't have time to take on new coaching clients or you don't have time to create that program you've been thinking about or fill up that first group coaching program because you're just too busy doing things like cooking dinner for the family or picking up the kids from school activities. I actually made a whole list of things because this is where I was at. Um, you're cleaning up the house for holiday parties or engagements. You're setting up client sessions and you're handling that flooded inbox all by yourself. You're writing your own blog posts and your newsletter. You're updating your website sales page with all your new ideas. You're designing your own website. You're trying to figure out Facebook ads and social media <laughs> marketing. You're learning Photoshop to create your own image graphics to put online. You're checking and running social media to engage with potential clients. You're running all of the income and funding and, and billing for your clients. Does this resonate with you, Kristen? <laughs> yes, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> and you should be. And with all of that, there's no time for you really to do the work like self-care and rejuvenation and speaking on stage and creating your signature program and coaching your clients, which is really all you should be doing and it's the reason you became an entrepreneur in the first place. But I know that the next thought that comes is, but isn't it really expensive to have a team of people behind me and how can I really afford that if I am just starting out? And what I ask you to think about is how much are you worth per hour? How much, if you were having the space to sign that new client, if you were putting your um, expertise where it's needed and focused in that area, how much are you really worth per hour that you could be bringing in? Because I guarantee it's hundreds of dollars per hour. And most of the support that you're going to hire is going to be between $10 and $50 an hour. So that that means that by creating the free time for you, you're actually making money back where you're limiting yourself and you're spreading yourself too thin. So now that we have that mind block out of the way, I really want you to meditate on that, all of you listening. Um, you really want to think about what do you do first and who do you hire? So I made a little list that I want to share with you guys, and it's in order of importance, so you may want to write this down, of um, who you could consider hiring to support you in your business and in what order that should go. So first we start with you because you are your business and you need support. So the very first place that you should invest in a team, your own team, is a life coach of your own or a business coach or spiritual coach or a mastermind or creating some kind of sisterhood mastermind for yourself. Um, other parts of your personal team could include a personal trainer so that you're in great health, a massage therapist, a manicurist. Um, you really want to build your self-care team first. Um, this could also include things that if self-care for you isn't at that level yet, maybe the first step of self-care is having a maid or a house cleaner or a babysitter or a personal assistant to help you with the daily tasks for your personal life and family so that you can step more into the CEO role. Um, and if you, yeah, and if I wrote, and if you got kids, you want to really find that perfect babysitter so that you can create more time for yourself and, of course, work through that guilt of getting a little bit of space from your kids so that you can really focus on your business. And then we move into once you've got that handled, you've got more space, you'll be spending more time on your business, you'll be bringing in more money, then we can move into the next phase, which is actually starting to get support with your business. So the first step would be a VA, which is, this is a virtual assistant, and what she would do, he or she would do, is help you automate tasks and take over the things that you do not need to be doing, like scheduling, setting up blogs, responding to emails, and anything that you do on your computer that someone else can take over. 
Then we move into the next step, what might be a business manager. This is someone who can run your whole business and manage your team. So they would manage your VA and some of the other people that will bring in. Um, this person will build your team for you, take care of daily actions. They'll help work with you on budget and future vision implementation so that you can really be focused on the overall vision and just being the thought leader. Um, next, there's quite a few other people you could add to your team. So you can add a copywriter. This is someone that would write newsletters, blogs, sales pages, website copy, social media content. Um, you might like a social and media assistant. This is someone to post and track social media engagement. Um, then we, you can get a graphic designer, um, social media graphics. They'll create social media graphics, website, landing pages, and launch design. These can be so cheap. You can even find one on Fiverr. Oftentimes it's $5 a project. Super, super easy to add to your business. Um, a website designer, and this will be someone to create an online home for your message and branding. Um, along with that, a brand strategist, someone that will help you to create and elevate your brand. Um, you might like a tech assistant. This is someone that will help manage the website and all the system management, your, your automated marketing. And then you can move into some of the fun things like a videographer, editor, editor to, an editor to do media for you, a photographer to make you look good and have lots of photos for your brand, a makeup artist for your events and for those media um, gigs like video and photography, a project manager. This is someone who would just come in during a launch or on a project-to-project -project basis to help you manage and create a launch sequence and, and bring any dream projects to life. Um, you can move into a PR pro later in your business to really help you build exposure and get mainstream media. And at the end of it all, you might reach a point where you actually want a CEO. So this is someone that would run the entire company and expand it completely without you. So that is kind of the list of the order in importance. Um, Kristen, have you hired anyone yet? Where are you at in your process with your team? Well, I love that you said that the self-care team should come first. And I actually just did find a new fabulous babysitter. And I love having her because, and I'm able to let go of the guilt because now when I am with my kids, I'm 100% present with them instead of always feeling that pull to be working while I'm with them. Now I have designated time. So that was really big for all of us. Beautiful. I also know you hired a life coach recently, too. I did. Yes, that was a big leap for me. Wow. I'm excited about that. I think it's so important that as coaches, we have coaches. It's a game changer for our business, so I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. So if you, um, one little note on this, if you don't have the money yet to hire your first team member, um, you want, something that I did early in my business is you want to reach out to friends and family members who can support these roles for free, or you want to consider an expertise trade. So when I first started coaching, I realized that when you act wealthy, you become wealthy. And I started thinking about what are some of the luxury things that I wanted. And it was my self-care team. I really wanted a personal trainer. I wanted a massage therapist that I could relax at the end of the week because I was really courageously putting myself out there, lots of prospecting. And um, I wanted an energy healer. I'd never had that before. I thought that would be really fun. So that's actually what I created. My best friend happened to be a personal trainer, so I traded coaching with her. Um, I ran into a woman who was a massage therapist who wanted coaching. We did a trade. I got two massages a month to coach her twice a month. And um, I, my other client was a Reiki energy healer. So I gave her a discount on a monthly package to get one energy healing session with her. And this was really my first self-care team, and it cost me nothing other than my time coaching. And actually, in the beginning of your coaching business, you need practice anyway. So it was a beautiful trade of me getting more practice coaching while also building my self-care team. So there's other ways around the money if you, if you need to find a way to start that team and you don't quite have the full funds. Or then you might be able to take those funds and put them into the VA, the first business step, if you kind of do that trade for your self-care team. So finally, I just want to share with you guys a little bit about my current team. So I'm about five years into my coaching business to give you an example so that you know how long it's taken me to build this team. And I'll give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look of what my team consists of. 
So I have a life and business coach. I also have a spiritual coach for archetypal healing and goddess training. I do priest once a year which is learning deeper archetypal models and I go away in temple and really go deep into the priestess energy I'm a part of a business mastermind which is actually now I don't pay for that anymore I've created that with colleagues and I also join a weekly sister circle I have an acupuncturist because I'm pregnant right now which is really important um, I've got a house cleaner that comes twice a month I have a virtual VA and a business manager. I have a retreat coordinator for my annual retreat. I have um, project managers that come in every once in a while during a launch, probably once a year, unless I'm launching something new, they'll come more often. I have a marketing strategist that I have hired probably every other year to help me build funnels or to help me with my launch. So last year I hired her to come on and write copy and help me just through the discovery process of the launch sequencing. Um, I have a website designer, I have a copywriter, I have a Facebook ad specialist. Again, I only bring the Facebook ads during lunch time. I have a videographer and an editor, so someone who does all my videos and my weekly edits. I have a photographer and I have a makeup artist that shows up on those shoot days. So this incredible group of people that I've built over the last five years has really helped me to make huge strides in my business this year. And I hit my biggest profit goals ever because I invested the most I ever have back into my business. Things like that marketing strategist and those videos that I put out and the editing, all of those things that have, make my business consistent, my communication consistent. I couldn't do it all alone. And it's those team members that have helped me actually take my business from just getting by or from the five figure mark to six figure and double six figures while investing really big, you know, bigger sums in my team as well. And that's something we all have to work through as our own business owners is really getting up to that point where we feel confident putting money back into the business. And um, you're worth it and your dream is worth it and your vision is worth it. And if you can work through those own blocks to get to that point with your team, you'll really start to feel the momentum and the fun behind your business rather than the overwhelm and the strife with it. And I just wanna share with you um, one last thing about when you're starting to look for this team because the next thing is where do I find these people? How do I start to do this? And truly, it's much more simple than we think. You really want to start to look around in your life and just talk about what you need. So if you know that you're moving toward that VA position or a project man manager position, there's definitely industry-specific people. There are lots of people in the coaching industry that are you know, coaching coaches. They're the coach's VA or they're the coach's project manager. They tend to be a little bit more expensive because they get passed around. Oftentimes, you can find other people who are dreaming of getting out of their big jobs who are experts in this field. Field, and they would really love to work with you as an entrepreneur themselves in at a lower rate so you want to really start to reach out um, it's the best place to begin is to create a role description of what you're looking for tell your tribe your clients and everyone you know exactly who and what you're looking for and oftentimes they will come to you you want to send a newsletter out to your list you want to go on Facebook into different groups and post who you're looking for especially in the industry if you want so an industry industry specific um, or you can find a boutique hiring agency that will do this for you or you can go to websites like cafemom.com these are women that work from home and often take on virtual assistant roles there's also a website called fancyhands.com and this is where you can hire virtual assistants for just little tasks so they don't have to be on completely annually and um, those are some great resources to start with so now sisters, I want to hear from all of you watching. I would love to know, do you have a team already? Who's already on your team? And who are you going to hire next? So what is the next point of focus for you that you're ready to bite the bullet, stop running that one woman show and hire that next person? And who knows, maybe by declaring it in the comment section below this video, you just might find your dream team on the blog. So Kristen, before we close, I would love to hear what is your biggest takeaway from all of this and who will you be hiring next for your team? Wow, this was a big 
eye-opener for me, all the different possibilities out there. And to, um, it's exciting for me to think about um, planning for all these people as my business grows year by year. Um, let me see. I think the next, the technical stuff really seems to get me. So if I can find a virtual assistant who can help me out with those, with the, with the technical pieces, I think that would be a real advantage to me um, and to my business. So that would probably be my first move. Beautiful. The great thing about finding an industry VA, someone who knows the coaching world, is oftentimes she comes with great connections of where to find a cheap website designer or a graphic designer or someone like that. So sometimes hiring that person first really helps you initiate some of the other things as well. Beautiful, Kristen. So we'll hold you to that and look forward to hearing when you take the leap. And ladies, we can't wait to jam with you on the blog. If you have a question about your coaching business, please do submit it right on the homepage of JanineYoder.com. It'll say, Ask Jay. You can click Submit Your Question and you might be the next person featured on Wake Up Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching. We'll meet you in the comment section on the blog and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Do you want to become a confident and masterful life coach? Imagine feeling completely supported by a brilliant sisterhood while you launch your dream business and attain financial freedom. Mentor Masterclass is an all-in life coach training program for 40 women who are on a mission to learn from the best. You can join Mentor Masterclass at the beginning of any new month while spaces are available. Head on over to MentorMasterclass.com to learn more about the training and apply now. No matter what outer game you're playing, how aware of you of this game? What? <laughs> how aware of you? Mm.